Hello and welcome, I'm your CodeMonkey, and it's been a few years since Unity released URP and HGRP, these are the two render pipelines. URP, or the Universal Render Pipeline, is focused on running everywhere, and it still looks great, but it's not focused on the absolute best visuals possible. For that, you have the HDRP, or the High Definition Render Pipeline. So, since it's been quite some time since it was released, I thought it would be nice to do some research to see what games have already been made using HDRP. Now, thankfully, there's a really easy way to see if a game is using HDRP. A while ago, I was researching games for my top 10 new releases list, and I saw Hard Space Shipbreaker. And on SteamDB, you can see if the game is using Unity, which is what I look at, and then it also shows you if it's using URP or AGRP. Basically, just goes through the file list and finds the AGRP library. So with that, here we have a really nice list of all of the AGRP games. There's already quite a lot of them, over 700. So let's look at some of them to see just how far developers have pushed Unity's visuals. However, before I start this video, let me actually make a quick note on AGRP so you don't go and suddenly try converting your entire project. It's not something that you change to AGRP and everything magically looks better. Some things do indeed look better, the post-processing, the lighting and so on. The algorithms that AGRP uses are different from the ones that URP uses. They are focused on maximum fidelity instead of maximum compatibility. So those things are indeed kind of automatic, however for most things it is not. AGRP simply provides you with more options, but as to how good something looks, it will highly depend on your assets. If you put a low poly asset and swap between URP and AGRP, you really won't notice much of a difference. To see that difference, you need to actually use all of the various maps that AGRP shaders let you use. So you need an AO map, a bump map, displacement map, reflection map, glass map, metal map, and so on. Without all of those various texture maps, it won't magically look good. So I just wanted to quickly point that out, if you're a solo developer like me and you don't have an army of artists working alongside you, then HRP won't magically make your game look a lot better. So if you're like me, definitely stick with the URP. Oh and by the way, I'm currently working on my next Steam game called Turn World Liberation. Go ahead and add it to your wishlist. Since I'm a solo developer, I'm sticking with URP, but I am doing everything I can to make the visuals look good. I spoke about what assets I'm using to achieve that look in another video. So even if you're using URP, you can definitely still make a good looking game. But with that said, let's look at some of these games that are built by teams that push HGRP to its limits. Starting off with a game that made me think of the idea for this video, Hard Space Shipbreaker. This one is a great looking space game. You've got plenty of lights, lots of sparks, especially when cutting something. They're definitely using the VFX graph quite a lot. You've got some gorgeous explosions and lots of particles. There's also lots of fancy shader effects for all of the various inspection modes. So putting all that together, and this one is definitely a very good looking space game. Remember, the company is your family. And then here's one that's not technically using AGRP, but it's possibly the best looking realistic game made with Unity. It's Escape from Tarkov. As far as I know, they use a heavily modified Unity version, so it's a custom renderer and not really AGRP. But whatever they use, it definitely pushes Unity to its limits. The game is absolutely gorgeous with a realistic art style. It looks so good that a lot of people are in disbelief when they hear that it's made with Unity. But again, remember, it all looks this good because they have an army of artists building a dozen or so maps for every single material. They need to have regular albedo maps, some occlusion maps, metallic displacement and so on. But if you do have the artists to draw of that, then this game is an excellent example of what you can achieve. And of course, on top of that, you have excellent high poly meshes, some gorgeous lighting and shadows, excellent particles and animations. You put it all together and Escape from Tarkov is definitely a sight to behold. And up next, with some top tier visuals, here is Made of Scare. Personally, I'm not a fan of horror games at all, I really can't handle it. But if you're looking for the best visuals possible, then that's definitely the genre to check. The reason is because horror games are usually pretty claustrophobic, so you have a tiny amount of assets visible at a certain time, which means those assets can be insanely high quality. That coupled with the fact that it's usually at night, it really helps since games always look better in low light environments. So this game definitely features some excellent visuals because of all of that. You have some really high quality models and textures with lots of maps. There's lots of fire particles illuminating the scene. The light and the fog is definitely very high quality. Everything looks really gorgeous and really scary. So it seems that for horror games, my recommendation would be to use AGRP instead of URP because so many of these games are focused on those excellent visuals.
for something pretty unique. Over here we have a bris. This one, as you can see, is all about destruction. And in order to make that destruction as satisfying as possible, the game uses tons of particles. There's lots of flashy visuals to really sell the effect. All of those gorgeous effects, and the camera also really helps to sell the scale of the game. When coupled with the sound, it really makes every action look and feel really powerful. Another genre that benefits a lot from some great visuals are adventure games. So here is the gorgeous looking Siberia the world before. It's got some really nice models and lighting. It really achieves the goal of looking like a very convincing world. And being an adventure game means that you interact with objects with a very close camera. And because of using HDRP, those objects all look really excellent when you inspect and rotate them. Just what I was looking for. Perfect. And up next we have Tinted Rail Conquest. This one features some really high-end models and textures, lots of post-processing to really make the game shine, the depth of field effect is really very high quality. Here you can definitely see lots of high quality models with all of those maps that I was talking about. So the ground has some displacement, the characters have certain shiny surfaces, and also the game is at night, which again usually helps in making games look great. You will fall every single time. For something flashy, here is Recompile. I remember seeing this one tons of times for quite a long time while on Twitter. Every day there was a new flashy GIF. The game definitely looks great. It's got plenty of lights, lots of effects and particles. Despite being yet another 3D puzzle platform, it really looks quite unique. And up next, something on the management genre. Here is Airborne Kingdom. Again, some gorgeous post-processing, really nice up the field. It has plenty of gorgeous custom shaders for selecting and placing down the objects. Features some great lighting quality, bouncing off of everything. And of course, all of the assets look really great. So these are seven games out now using Unity HDRP to produce some great visuals. It goes to show that if you have some super high quality assets with tons of super high res texture maps, with all of that, Unity can definitely look gorgeous. If you want, go ahead and give it a try, create a new project with the official HGRP sample template to see just how good it can look. Alright, hope that's useful, check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.